Hello, my name is Gonzalo Vasquez Prokopic, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Environmental Sciences at Emory University in Atlanta. In this video, I'll be introducing you to the targeted indoor residual spraying, why is it effective, and how it's performed. The global incidence of Aedes transmitted arboviruses such as dengue, Zika, chikungunya, and yellow fever continue to increase and more outbreaks are inevitable. One method of responding to outbreaks early and effectively is targeting the application of residual adulticides to the locations where the vector mosquitoes rest. This is called targeted indoor residual spraying or TIRS. TIRS can also be used to prevent Aedes-borne diseases by spraying before transmission is detected in areas of high risk. Targeted indoor residual spraying is the application of residual insecticides to the resting sites of Aedes mosquitoes inside houses. While primarily targeting the Aedes aegypti, TIRS can be effective against Aedes albopictus in areas where it rests indoors. When the vector uh, comes into contact with the sprayed surface, it absorbs a lethal dose of the insecticide and reduces vector densities. Dark refuges below 1.5 meters in height are sprayed in high-risk structures or areas to prevent the escalation of an ongoing outbreak. This method is recommended by the WHO, the World Health Organization, and has yielded an 86 to 96% reduction in dengue in the Australian city of Cairns, where it controlled pyrethroid susceptible Aedes aegypti by spraying pyrethroid insecticides. Historical evidence shows that this method in combination with larval control has contributed to the elimination of Aedes aegypti species in the Americas, Guyana and the Cayman Islands. The biggest advantage of TIRS is that it's proven to be effective. The residual effects last for up to seven months with chlorphenapyr, actelic, and sumishield. Compared to other space spraying methods, TIRS requires only 15 minutes per house, uses less insecticide, and fewer reapplications. TIRS requires skilled staff and special equipment to apply the insecticide. Personal protective equipment is also necessary for safety, especially in humid conditions. For this method, you will need insecticide, a spraying tool, and personal protective equipment. For porous surfaces such as mud walls, wettable powders, and wet dispensable granules are the best type of insecticides. In locations with finished wood and painted surfaces, suspension concentrates or, or emulsifiable concentrates of insecticide are more effective. Less insecticide is needed on non-absorbent surfaces. For instance, 30 milli milliliters per square meter instead of 40 milliliters per square meter. To spray the insecticide, hand or battery powered compression pump sprays are used. They have a tank to hold the insecticide, which can be pressurized with the attached hand pump. For larger structures like schools and corporate buildings, motorized sprayers that use gasoline or electrical motors are used. A flexible neck can be attached to the sprayers to target hard to reach areas. Now, we are going to demonstrate the application of insecticide using the TIRS method. First, we ensure that we are wearing our prote personal protective equipment correctly. Then, we want to find dark resting spots less than 1.5 meters off the floor to target the spray. These may include, if socially acceptable, the interior of wardrobes, under tables and beds, as well as the lower half of walls. When we are spraying, we want to make sure that the nozzle is 45 centimeters away from the surface. Keep the insecticide below the 1.5 meter height and spray it from top to bottom. Each swath should take around three seconds. Then 
step to the right and spray again until the room is complete. Try to leave no more than a 5 cm overlap on each pass. Before conducting the TIRS method, adequate planning and notification of residents whose houses are targeted for spraying is essential. Equipment, locations and transportation are all need to be planned in advance. It is very important to notify homeowners and gain permission prior to commencing TIRS. The objectives, benefits and risks will need to be explained at least two days prior. Residents of the community will need to temporarily relocate domestic animals, protect items from contamination and remain outside for 30 minutes while the insecticide dries. Effective data and record management is critical to ensuring the ongoing efficacy of TIRS. It is critical that supervisors maintain accurate daily records of the location of each house, insecticide suggests, and other relevant information such as any rooms that were inaccessible during spraying. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.